Hey there guys, it's Keith Wolfie here and welcome to today's video which is another trick, trick, easter egg and fact. Now um, today I've got an awesome trick and basically um, as you see I was waving on a camera. Now if you didn't know how to do this all you have to do is go onto the Snapmatic and just hold your left trigger and it'll do, it does a couple of them so if you have jazz hands you can pretty much wave or if you have like docking um, or like dock then that one you can use as well. There's a couple of them you can use, but some you can't. But there are some good ones, so you might want to sort of like give a wave to your fans or whatever. And it's actually pretty good, and um, it's something that hasn't really been seen yet by people. So it's something cool that people should like see and also use, and you can make some really good snapmatics with. And as you see now, I'm using a suit salute, and you can actually get some really good snapmatics with it. So you can also enjoy that. And I don't think really, people were really told about this update. Um, so if you didn't know you, you um, if you didn't know you could, then now you do, and you should be proud that you f that you can do it because it's really good, and you can get some really good pictures for it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and um, now that's our trick, and we are now going on to our Easter egg. Now for our Easter egg, it is a special Easter egg because it actually ref it's an amazing Easter egg that refers to Disney. Now I pull out outside the shop in Vinewood, and basically. All it is is that you have like this sort of um, this Disney type figure, kind of like n similar to Mickey Mouse type, kind of. And um, basically, that is one of the symbols. And also, you can also see the the writing which says Fred's store. Now, this is totally in the same font as um, d like Disney store, and like it's just so similar. And they pretty much just replaced the Dis well, Disney with Fred. And it's just such a really good Easter egg, and I think it's just so so clear. Like the writing is enough, but then like, the picture as well just totally go puts these together. And I think it's a really nice Easter egg to sort of see Disney put in here. Now I would put you up a picture to sort of similarium, but it'd probably get done for uh, copyright. So um, there, you can probably just search up for Disney anyway if you didn't know what it was, and if you didn't, then you're pretty stupid. Um, so basically, um, if you wanted to know where this was, it's pretty much just along Vinewood, like the main bit near like the cinema and all that sort of stuff, like the theatre. And um, you can just come along here, and this I think the bit up here is probably like the place with the most Easter eggs, um, and it's pretty good. So you can like come up here and show your friends as well, like tell them you want to go Disney Store or whatever. And sort of just enjoy it because it's a pretty good place there. And it's a very good Easter egg which I really enjoy. Because Disney pretty much owns all the movies pretty much. So it's a good Easter egg in here. Okay, now we are finally on to our um, sort of fact of the episode. Now the fact is something that you might be really curious about. And it is actually that um, Rockstar paid for GTA 5 to, rep like, to receive bad press. Now, um, this was only recently sort of discovered, but it's just something you'd be really confused about, and I, I just have a couple of suggestions why this might be. Uh, see, one of them might be um, if the people say, oh yeah, like newspapers see that GTA 5 is really bad and all that, people might like decide they want it even more, um, and might people want to like be encouraged to get it, that people might not, and maybe appeal to sort of older users or something. Um, so it's quite a weird sort of thing to get that, but maybe it also adds sort of more attention to the story of it being released. So if like newspapers and all that are saying that like this is something really big and bad and something, then I think more people will be attracted by the attention of this. Um, so that's quite interesting to find out. And uh, see, so it was actually found that during money exploits, people actually you like played on GTA 5 a lot longer and like stayed on because they managed to have that benefit from other users from like having as such the money exploit and um, that was pretty recent and I think a lot more people stayed on and spent more time on the game because they managed to have all the money and they wanted to stay down because they did have that benefit over other users so that is something and I think G there might be something GTA might put in and possibly they might actually be behind sort of money exploits possibly um, so we still have yet to learn now that's about all for this video if you did enjoy it then make sure to leave a like and also I would like to remind you that I have still got my 75 sub
giveaway for Pearson and Xbox Live £10 card. So if you want to do that, see it, then I'll put a link to the video in the description below. Okay, guys, that's it. So um, see you tomorrow on my next video. See ya.